friends say this family was living a simple life in Luton, England. All 12 may now be in ISIS-controlled areas of Syria, including the head of the family, 75-year-old Mohammed Abdul Manan, his terminally ill wife, and grandchildren as young as a year old. The family lived on this quiet street outside of London. This is the family home where they based a successful electric and plumbing business. Friends tell me this is an ordinary family. They're baffled as to how and why this could have happened. Friends say it all began with a family vacation to see relatives in Bangladesh. On April 10th, police say one of the members of the party was stopped and questioned at the airport. Their house was also searched. Police say they found nothing to suggest they were planning to go to Syria. The family was allowed to continue their trip. On May 11th, the family flew through Istanbul. Friends say they were going to stop and sightsee for a few days, but they never boarded the plane back to England. I understand that a member, a female member of the family, were radicalized, and she is the one who has influenced few other members of the family, and for surely the children and the elderly parents, they have got no idea what was about to happen to them. Community leader Ashok Ahmed says the remaining family believes at least one of the women may have had links to an extremist group in Luton. And it's only about no more than 10 or 12 of those members, but they are quite vocal, they're quite active, and you see them out on the street distributing leaflets, flyers, with their messages. Is, and I understand that the girl who also or somehow had linked to that group. Ahmed says it's the very same group that has been linked to Abu Aziz. He is also from Luton, now in ISIS territory, fighting for the group. Before Twitter shut down his account, he would post inflammatory pictures and messages. Here, Aziz calls for ISIS to behead the British Home Secretary. In another, he talks about burning his British passport. It's in stark contrast to what we believe to be the tweets of 19-year-old Mohammed Tofiq Hussein, one of the 12 now thought to be in Syria. He tweets about cartoons, rap music, and jokes, nothing to suggest extremism. His friends say he's just a teenager. He was a chilled, relaxed guy, just like me. We played football, you know, we went to school, we had a laugh. And this, this whole thing, I'm just like, it blew me away because I spoke to some of my friends. We were like, what's going on? He's just ghosted. Just how all 12 ghosted is a mystery. The remaining family has released a statement saying their disappearance is completely out of character. They are worried they may be in danger. Aaron McLaughlin, CNN, Luton, England.